You're listening to The Mentality Show, only on L.A. Talk Radio. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 52 of The Mentality Show. What's up, everybody? Hey, what's going on? Good to be here. What's up? Good to be here. Everybody feeling good? Yeah, yeah, baby. Good. Feel great. That's what's up. That's what's I'm up. Busy, feeling real busy. Busy. good. Everybody's feeling good. Everybody's, uh, everybody's, uh, you know, everybody ate before the show and all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah, you ate, yeah. Anybody <laughs> masturbate this week? Anything oh, yeah. like that <laughs> before <laughs> the show? Okay. I try to masturbate before the show. It just makes me, you know, a better host after I do that. You know, <laughs> maybe I'm saying too host. much. <laughs> a yeah, little I'm bit. saying too much. That's right? why you're always. <laughs> That's why you're always running late. That's Got what, it. That's why that button on your keyboard is always stuck. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't want to touch this don't computer, Don't touch the man, B, A, or P button. There you go. <laughs> Not on Wednesdays. So anyway, episode 52, we're back in business, boys. Yes. We are back in business. Yes. Yep. Wednesday, all you Italians out there, welcome. We are happy to have you here. Uh, in case you don't know what this show is about, we are five grown-ass men here to give you our experiences, our yep. backgrounds, <laughs> our advice our opinions on everything we have to talk about here this week and pretty much the past 51 shows is, is episode 52 a lot happened this week yep. uh especially here in los angeles we're going to talk about but our topic here today is called the seven deadly sins okay we're going to talk ah, about that oh yeah we're also going to talk <laughs> about who matches those sins who at this table <laughs> is a sinner sin. sin the sin. boy sin <laughs> i am here today to talk about Give me a dollar or whatever, you know, he's you pastors will, out You here. will burn in hell. You're going to burn in a hell. private jet. <laughs> sin, sin, sin. So why we got to talk about what the what the pastor drive or where the pastor live? I say, don't ask. Don't ask. Any questions, just give the money. Pastor, could you pass the money to the back, please? Sister Martha's pregnant. You know, <laughs> the saying is mine. <laughs> Lord willing. <laughs> Lord willing, she's going to go get an abortion. Or something. Pass, pass, <laughs> pass the basket. Uh, all these faulty pastors. So we're going to talk about that type of stuff. Um, but we are here. We are live from the airways of Los Angeles, LA Talk Radio. Um, and we're going to talk about what happened in Los Angeles past this past Sunday with uh, Nipsey Hussle, the famous, yep. popular rapper here in Los Angeles, from Los Angeles, from the hood area of L.A. Yep. We're going to talk about what happened to him on a Sunday afternoon. I mean, Sunday afternoon. Yep. Sunday. You know, it's supposed to be easy like a Sunday. And then you, you, you chilling with your boys. The next thing you know, you know, yeah, you're not here anymore. Shut so up, nope. man. We're going to talk about that. The fuck the murder. Fucked up, Murray. We're going to get into it. So if you're new to the Mentality Show or if you've never seen the show, then we must warn you, again, we warn you every week that the views and opinions expressed on this show, some listeners and viewers may find offensive. Viewer discretion. We don't give a fuck. fuck. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. So we're going to talk about everything here. I talk, told you what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about from Nipsey Hussle's next of kin to why I question if Tech C's really Mexican. <laughs> We're going to get into that. Because <clears throat> this guy is actually Mexican. You wouldn't know it. He doesn't That's even right. speak Spanish. So I question that. You know, no habla. No He habla. might be no Puerto habla. Rican or no something like that. So we're going to get into it. What else are we going to talk about, EO? Uh, we're going to talk about the seven deadly sins. And also, is it a crime if a man loves another man named Ben? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about that. Uh, it's a crime Flashbacks. apparently in some, in some countries. Yeah, <laughs> and, and what's the country called? Benai? What's it? Ben some place I would never go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never yeah. even heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. I never heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Vato V, you don't want to go there. Either. I don't want to go there. Yeah, because no. they kill gay people yeah, out there. Yeah, they do. They kill gay people out there. Yeah, they fuck kill metros too. <laughs> it's not even a fast. Oh, metros? 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 That's right, metros. <laughs> Hey, so anyway, we're going <laughs> to yeah, talk yeah, about what else we're going to talk about there, Scully. Uh, we, we cover from all the negative fuckers out there and positive posts telling you to have a great day to is it Delano or Vato V that is gay? <laughs> oh, wow. We are on this gay shit. How about today, just man? both? <laughs> <laughs> Can I confirm or deny? We're going to talk about all that. Uh, I can't confirm. I'm not gay. No, so, you, uh, no yeah. you can't. It's confirmed. <laughs> it is confirmed. Anyway, what else we're going to talk about? Tex. Sexy Texy. Not so sexy Texy. What are we going to talk about? Effer. <laughs> I'm Mexican because I eat my beans. <laughs> but is Delano Metro? Because he wears skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most passionate rhyme I've ever heard you say on the show. You really felt uh, that. You felt that rhyme. You were mad. So he always gets to me about, you know what? Fuck it. Skinny jeans, Skinny baby. jeans. Look at that That's shit. What's up? Fucking shit is like baseball right. pants. That's what's up, baby. He's wearing skinny jeans right. and has no ass. Look at that. That's what's up, sir. 
Batter up. Batter up. <laughs> yeah, the long back. Swing. <laughs> batter. I, I don't have the ass of a fat woman in her 40s, Texie, so that's why you. Yeah. I have, a, I have a, a man's ass. That's what I have. He has that disease called no ass at all. No ass at all. <laughs> there it is. And you have the oh. super big titty committee. Uh, <laughs> super big titty committee. Uh, membership. So. Anyway, let's get into it here. Uh, so uh, let's fucker. do some introductions, okay? You forgot my rhyme, puto? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, that was fucked up, bro. Whatever puto, means, I whatever I puto wanna, means. I don't want to do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> from, Nipsey, from Nipsey Hussle and being killed by a snitch to when that motherfucker goes to prison, he's going to be somebody's bitch. bitch. That's, That's, right. Right. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mr. Eric Holder. We're going to get, get into him. that in a second. That's so, right. mm-hmm. Uh, so let's do some introductions. I got my man E.L. here to my left. Tell people about yourself, E.L. What up? I am E.L. Smith because my right. real name is Elbert, so I have to go by I did E.L. not know that. did not know that. I said did not know that. Damn. Wow. I, I didn't know that. Before. Every <laughs> black guy has a nickname, man. Well, I didn't know, I didn't know your name was Elbert, though. Nipsey Hussle is not really Nipsey Hussle. Well, name I, like that. No, that's like crazy. <laughs> I, know. I just didn't know what the East. Oh. I never knew what it stood for. My bad. Right, go that's ahead. Cool. That's cool. I got some shows coming up, so check out ELSmithComedy.com. That's right. Ice House Comedy Union. Yep. Comedy show tonight, House. actually. So. We will be there. It's local, Pasadena. All right. Pasadena. Yeah. Uh, what's, what are the dates? Uh, April 18th. April, April 18th. 18th. 8 o'clock. Down. And we're filming it. So Come hang out with the Metallica show. Come That's out. Right. I'll buy your shot. Oh. If you say Ooh. you saw this on the radio and hey. you came. Damn. I w- yeah. I, I could w- get expensive. Does that work for <laughs> us, too? <laughs> <laughs> I don't work for you guys. You guys, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to butt light out the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> we're going broke. Yeah. Hot butt lights. Can I wheel in my little ice chest? All right. There you go. <laughs> ice house, Bud Light, there ice. Yeah. All of the above. Tell me a little bit about yourself there, Scully. Introduce yourself to the audience. Uh, These are two new guys here. Yeah, so here <laughs> the fuck I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm just Usually I do the introductions. I want to hear you guys introduce yourself. Cool. So uh, I'm the white guy. That's right. <laughs> the white boy. The yeah, yeah, white guy. And, uh, yeah, they need Rick a, Ashley. So this show obviously <laughs> needed a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you don't get much whiter. This is it. You no. fucking nailed it. So white you're red. He's red. <laughs> yeah. Ginger. <laughs> and, when, you, uh, when you have sex, does your face turn red? Is your <laughs> pink? Huh? Pro- probably. I, I, I try not to have mirrors around because uh, it scares me. I remember. I remember my mom. She used to date white guys, right? And I remember, you know, I had a fucked up childhood. I remember my mom, uh, you know, taking this white guy in the room and them having sex, and he walked out. I didn't know what happened. This dude walked out with the reddest face. The reddest <laughs> face, and I said to myself, "White people turn red when they fuck." Yeah, <laughs> that's when I really had a really good. That. He had a really good time. Yeah. <laughs> he, was a, he was a real. That's fucked up. He was a real motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Della knows motherfucker. She, was, she sucked the red in t- out of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Enough about my mom. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. there is yeah. no whole lot to say. Uh, exactly. Get ready to rumble. Uh, <laughs> all right, we got that all out of our system. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's a, talk about. There's a lot to say, but I, I think for me, the only thing is, is you know, I brew beer and I drink beer and uh, check out Scullygan's Craft Brewing Company. Check there it out go. anywhere. Check That's it. it. That's it what's up. Do it. Check do it. it. What's up? All right, Texie, not so sexy, Texie. What do you have to? Oh, well, I'm one, <laughs> one of the Mexicans about. on the show. <laughs> one of the Mexicans. Right. That's right. <laughs> and um, I fly drones. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. He flies drones. Tell him about your business. Um, yeah, I fly drones. <laughs> <laughs> it's fly a business drones called LA Aerial, LA, LA Aerial Image. Wow, I got images. Wait, wait. He Introduce says images. So, yeah. It's called LA Aerial Images. <laughs> LA Aerial really Image. LA mm-hmm. Aerial Image. Mm-hmm. One, one image. It's a small production company. We do video production. Right. You're doing so good. Keep, keep it up. <laughs> keep it up. <laughs> we fly drones. I'm so proud shit. of you. <laughs> And we drink beer. There you go. There you go. Talk right. about Talk they about don't drink beer when they fly drones, though. No, not when they fly. Not when they fly drones. Somebody asked me that. Talk about the work you do in the community. <clears throat> there you go. Um. <laughs> uh, nothing. <laughs> he films. Good. He, films good. Our, he films. Yeah. Our shows. on the spot. He films our skits and all that shit. So Tell them cool. what you do for the children. <laughs> <laughs> he rears so your child. Send me all your money and I'll do something for the children. With it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Uh, what's that oh, couple yeah. that? Uh, that fooled everybody on uh, GoFundMe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah a couple yeah. in Boston, whatever. Had all these people. Send me all your money. I'll keep seventy percent. Thirty percent. I'll feed the children. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to church. There you have it. That sounds like a wonderful business. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. All so right, Vato V. Vato V. Tell the people I'm about yourself. I'm just here, true Mexican, chilling right here with the homies. It's our Mexican <laughs> on the show, man. Right. Hey, you know I'm one of the you guys. You question his 
Mexican 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 Mexicality Mexicanness. Hey, I'm just uh, I'm here. I'm I'm the guy that books all the people on the show, man. So all of our guests. He does. He does. Yeah. So yep. there you that's go. how we found this talent right here, Mr. EO. Young man right here. So. Mr. Elbert, right? Elbert. Yeah, Elbert. I was Elbert. walking down Elbert. the street and he was like, hey, you want to be on the radio? That. There you go. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm not gonna let we that needed go. to replace the other black guy, LaShawn. <laughs> we need a black guy on the it's show. It's a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> we get funding. So. That's right. That's right. A minority quota. Now, actually, <laughs> EL was a guest on the show and he actually, LaShawn couldn't make it that day and uh, EL sat in his chair and we were like, you know what? This, this guy. <laughs> he replaced him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're crude on the show, man. Took another black man job. Right. Oh, bad. That's messed up. Oh, so let me tell you about me. <clears throat> Nobody wants um, to know. Anyway, God. how's right. it going, guys? There you go. <laughs> yeah. How's the? Uh, I'm your host, Delano. Hi, Station Big break. D. <clears throat> big D. How's the weather on that big dome? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, can I do my intro? I didn't interrupt your intro. <laughs> Uh, I am your host, Delano. I've been uh, in. I have my stutter. degrees in radio, TV <laughs> communications. I've been in radio for a while now. Um, I uh, actually done How stand-up long? comedy, acting. Uh, I've worked as a mentor, um, all kinds of things. So that's why we're here. That's why we're all here. We're all mentors, except for we're all intelligent people, except for Texi, uh, <laughs> here to give our opinion on what's going on in the world. So let's talk about what's going on in our community, in our talk world. Let's get into it. So we had this big thing happen this past week with a very popular rapper. His name is by the name of Nipsey Hussle. Mm -hmm. um, this yeah. uh, young man, 33 years old, he was with his boys um, in uh, actually off of Crenshaw Boulevard, right in the hood of Los Angeles. Yep. He was there to hook up his friend. His friend had just gotten released out of prison after 20 years being re in prison, got released. Nipsey Hussle was there to hook his friend up with some clothing. You know, hook your boy up. You know, he's been in prison. You know, he's just <coughs> being a good dude. Yep. He's done a lot for the community here in Los Angeles. He actually, before his death, he actually um, <clears throat> uh, was in conjunction with the LAPD to try to limit uh, gang violence in the area or, or in the hood or, or in the community of Los Angeles. Mm. And uh, while he was there, uh, I guess another gentleman, no, I don't want to call him a gentleman, a piece of shit uh, person, Perfect. Uh, had just come out of one of the stores and Nipsey Hussle saw him. And he says to this man, his name is Eric Holder. They call him Shitty Cuz. That's his name. <laughs> yeah, fucked Pretty up, man. Shitty what you did, Cuz. Shitty yeah. Cuz, man. That's crazy. <laughs> shitty Cuz. That's fucked up. If y'all ever call me sh on this show, I'm your host, Shitty Cuz. Uh, <laughs> no. I should stop doing radio. <laughs> so this dude was walking out. Nipsey Hussle saw him and said something to him to the effect of, hey, man, you shouldn't be around here. I heard you snitching, snitching folks out in the hood. You putting the homie on stuck. Shit like that, you know. And this dude felt disrespected, so he goes off somewhere, we don't know where, mm -hmm. retrieves a gun, mm -hmm. okay, comes <coughs> back, and basically blasts Nipsey Hussle, blasts him in the chest, in the head, right in front of his boys, his boys ran off, his dude, his boy that just got out of prison actually was shot as well, he yeah. shot him in uh, somewhere, Some I, believe in, shot him I forgot, home. but he survived, yeah. and uh, Nipsey Hussle um, was shot in the head, shot in the chest, and then after he shoots him, he goes up to him and kicks him in the head, Yeah. And oh, wow. shoots him again. Takes off. And then takes off. And then some girl, they drive off in a white Chevy um, Cruze, I believe. Yeah. And um, they caught him. They just recently caught him or he turned himself in. I, from what I understand, uh, member, people that are close to him have been attacked yeah. in retaliation. Yeah. Um, they, the young lady who drove the car, they found her. They questioned her. She's been released. No doubt she's probably going to be a, be a witness against this guy in the case. That's probably why she was released. I don't know. Maybe they'll rearrest her. But that's what happened. Nipsey Hussle killed last Sunday in the hood of Los Angeles over some, <coughs> some, some piece bullshit. of shit dude feeling disrespected. So he went and shot him. So right, your right, thoughts? In front of a, right in front of a store that yeah. he owned, right? Yeah. 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 Right yeah. in front of a store that he owned. Broad daylight camera. That's how they caught him. They caught him on the... Um, What's your community with that, though, man? You're gonna kill somebody somebody else. You're gonna get away. Like you, you can't. You're not gonna. You just might well get ready to go to jail. Like See, no. the thing yeah. is, you, you you just <coughs> shot and killed a homie from their own from yeah. the same hood, and it's like, what the fuck? They're like a famous, a famous, popular famous homie. cat. Yeah. yeah, And it's like you just you shot safe, yeah. and you shot another guy that just got out of prison. So what do you think is gonna happen to you when you go to prison? Of course, you to just shot. It's crazy, man. It's a death yeah. sentence. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. Like your rhyme said, he's gonna be somebody's. Oh, he's, he's gonna be somebody's bitch. Or he's gonna end up dead. No, nah, that was gonna get. He was. I'm. 
you know, whatever, man. But he'll he'll be killed in there. Yeah, Somebody he's been in solitary him. confinement since then. But, that's, but they can't keep him there forever. That goes into what we talking about because like isn't pride like one of the yeah yeah sins? Yeah. yeah that goes into one of the things we're gonna hit yeah. on. It's one of the seven <laughs> deadly sins. Yeah. When I read this about the seven deadly sins, I was like, well, why is murder not there and other things? And then Vato V, you actually brought it to my attention. You just yeah. did now too, El, that these things lead to death. Most yep. definitely. You, yeah. What do they say? The wages of sin lead to death. And we're going to get into these seven deadly sins uh, uh, here in a second. But, yeah, pride, young man, the young, the piece of shit he could has had pride. <laughs> so he went and uh, got a gun, like you said, didn't even think about the consequence. That's some dumb shit. Yeah. I mean, y- you have to think, and okay, what's going to happen to me after this? It's, it's what it is. You can't be mad about it. If yeah. it's true, if it's not, then walk away. Like, walk away. On, man. Like, well, move old. somewhere else where people won't know you yeah. to be a snitch. You know, shit, too move old to Denver somewhere, yeah. you know? <laughs> exactly. You're too old for all that. How does, was this, the guy was 29, right? He's 29. He's 29. Oh, man. He's yeah, yeah, man. 20, it's like, yep. Yeah. That shit happens every you're day. You're a grown ass man. That shit happens every man. day, not only here in LA, but all over, man. <clears throat> you know, yeah. people feel disrespected. They go because they can't fucking fight, so they go get a gun and go shoot somebody. You know? Very good point. You have Why black man? men getting killed every day all over the world. And they don't know the reason why or how mm-hmm. it happens. Probably mm-hmm. over some shit where somebody felt disrespected or or, or some hood shit. And uh, mm-hmm. unfortunately, this person here uh, shot a very famous man. So yeah. it's very uh, you know well known how it happened. And 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 you know Nip, Nipsey just, Hustle may rest in peace. It's, God a rest it's yeah. just a tragedy, man. Somebody yeah. you know this guy's over here living in the hood. He's trying to help <clears throat> somebody out and trying to help out his community. Yeah. Whether it's for the good or for the bad, it doesn't make no doesn't make no difference. But yeah. he's over there trying to help out his people, you know, try to help out the people in his community and not just the black just, folks, but yeah, the people no, in the community. Uh, he, it, it, it wasn't just the black folks, yeah. man. It was it was also Mexicans and stuff yeah. like that. So there was a lot of pictures up there, of, you know, you know, you got of Mexicans and blacks to trying to unite and stuff and to to end this violence. Hopefully it stops, man. But I hope. So, I don't so think what about the? They had a vigil <coughs> in the I was in just the, about to get into <coughs> it. Yeah, in yeah. the parking lot. And and then there was was there a shooting or something? There was like another that? shooting. No, so it wasn't a shooting. Was Somebody pulled a gun out. out. Okay, so people are <coughs> people started over yeah, people trying to get out of the, yeah. out of the area. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's mm-hmm. on high alert. Everybody's on high alert. I mean, yeah, wasn't there like a few people that were stabbed? Some tramplings. There was all kinds of crazy. I'm sure shit there that were. Happened. Yeah, I'm sure there were. I mean, I remember the day it happened. I got a uh, a text from. I meant to send it to, to you too, El, but mm-hmm. I forgot to do it but uh <laughs> says if you're a black man stay in because the roller 60s are out you know looking for to, to retaliate yeah. against anybody that's out and who you know mm. fits a description of being black you know so yeah. i forgot to send that to you i'm glad you didn't go to the hood that night i was an applebee's so it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> i think you're safe at applebee's yeah. Yeah. like cuz man that, that looked like that looked like the nigga right there oh, oh but he's, he's at applebee's <laughs> oh, he's safe all right yeah, he's safe. <laughs> so yeah but um so yeah, yeah, you had the riot. You had the, everybody's on high alert. We're, there's been a lot of retaliation regarding what happened. So, um, you know, not just to Nipsey Hussle, to his, his his boy that got shot, to the other people who've been killed in the aftermath of this whole thing. Um, just you know, God just, rest your soul. Just let's, fucked up all the way around. Yeah. Let's let's, honestly, let's please end the violence. At the end of the day, I mean, they got the person who actually did it. Yeah. Nobody coerced them. It was that person. So all the retaliation and Should stop. trying to find a girl. It's like it's really non and boy. Even his family members because his family members had nothing to do with that decision he made that right. day. Yeah. Right. So it's, it really is non and boy to do anything about it. Exactly. Right. I mean, they got the exact person. So, yeah. Yep. So let's thing. end it. Let's get it done. You know, right, let's, let's, let's move on. on and just please try to stop the violence, especially all my people out there, black men, all the, you know, young Hispanic men. It's yep. it's I worked in the law enforcement system. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and say we all have. That's how most of us met here. Yep. And and I tell you, incarcerated, all you see are mostly young black Hispanic men. Yeah. Um, and they say it's the system and the way it's designed and all that. But there are some of these little motherfuckers that just, they deserve to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I'm talking juveniles. We're talking juveniles. Future prisoners of America, okay? Some of these kids are. Some of them can be re- rehabilitated. We all make mistakes when we're young. I've done some things when I was young. Not yeah, I as, have. as s- stupid as some of these young men, but. And don't get caught. You know, and there, you can change. You, you mature and that yeah. type of thing. But yeah. um, <laughs> just, just. If you see a, a young kid out there going the wrong way as a grown man, try just try to guide him. Just try to get his attention and, and, and steer him the right way. Yeah. It's, especially if that's your son. 
Okay, yeah. especially if that's your Shit. son. Yeah. So all yeah. you absent fathers out there, this is a message for you as well. So I mean, that could be a, a, a huge part that's of the your problem. Son. Yeah. Yeah. Huge yeah. part. And of you're opening a can of whoop ass on us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot son of fun, lot of kids difference. need their asses whooped, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. their asses that's the biggest thing. We can sit here and talk about all the actions, but there's a lot of fucking ignorance out there. There's a lot of people that they don't have anyone to look up to yeah. Yeah. as kids. Yeah. There's they have nothing. They don't know what that means. There's sometimes like we we could feel like we walk into a situation we might be able to help, and, mm. and we're not going to be able to help because yeah. they're too far gone and and they're not going to see the truth. Yeah. yeah. Let yeah. me ask you at this table, gentlemen: Has everyone had <clears throat> their fathers in, or have their fathers in their lives? I am. Yes. Everyone's close to their dads. Close Everyone to I had my dad in my life. Yeah. You had your yeah. dad in your life? Yeah, my dad was around. We weren't real close, <clears throat> but he was around. Yeah. Okay. I had my pops. Yep. Yep. They say one out of uh, two uh, black men don't have their fathers around. You got two black men here, didn't have my father around. You had your father around. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, but hold on, though. But, but, but look but how you turned yeah, out. Exactly. You, turned out great. Exactly. I, I, I think that's. You're not Metro. No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the whole not having a father around? I don't know, yeah. man. I, I don't buy I don't, that shit either. I don't know. I don't. I think. I just don't buy that, though. Yeah. Well, you don't think. What do you mean? I don't you think you're going to turn out bad just because you don't have your father. Oh, around. yeah. It just depends yeah. on how your mother raises yeah. you, too. I mean, it's yeah. Well, I just think some people shouldn't be having babies. Exactly. You need a test to drive a car, know how to drive a car. You need a, you need a license to know how to drive a plane. Hmm. But one of the most important <laughs> things in life anybody can go out there and do. Exactly. I'm like, oh, it's okay. Exactly. No, it's not. It's no, not, this right. person's on crack. Why are they having kids? <laughs> exactly. Like, seriously. I like, can't believe so you just. True. Usually I so say true. that <laughs> and I just get the look. Yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> like, you, true. you can't say that. That's fucked up. Bro. I totally agree. No, I've always people, felt that way. I, and I'm going to say this right here on this radio. Say, like, people who's like, oh, I'm pro life. I'm pro life. You're so pro life. How many foster kids do you have in your house? Exactly. Yeah. How yeah. many kids are you taking care of that's yeah. running through the system? Right. You're not pro life. If you're pro life, you'd be taking care of them. Right. Exactly. Right, I feel. right, definitely agree. Some people <laughs> like this do shitty cuz should have never been born. If you ask me, <laughs> yeah. um, shitty should have been swallowed. <laughs> 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 and Hitler should have stayed in art class. <laughs> 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 and everything would have worked. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, I didn't have my father. My mother, mother wasn't the best raising me, but um, you know, I. I, I I just it was just instilled in me that there's you're, better you're things out there, you know. The there's rule, better man. things like, out you're there. You're an exception you know? to what usually happens. Well, some people actually, yeah. some people actually have the ability to see the negative and not want to turn out that way. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's that's true. true. I grew up in a really shitty area, and I I, I saw I my too, friends yeah. getting killed, and that's I'm, I'm, I don't want to. Okay, what can I do? Where that won't happen to me, yeah. and that's exactly yeah. what yeah. I, I mean. You, yeah. you were thinking of California. I mean, that prison <laughs> rape turned me off the crime. <laughs> prison rape yeah. quickly. Like, <laughs> yeah. That was the no three sixty right there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. oops, don't want to go that route. <laughs> we're good. I'm yeah. good. I was the same way. Yeah. Someone tell me a story. Hey, Todd, you gotta try this. You gotta see, see what just happened last. This is what happened to us. You want to try it? Yeah. No, yeah. I yeah. don't. <laughs> yeah. Todd, that. you gotta try this drug. Yeah. We took this drug, and man, this is what happened to us. No. <laughs> no, I think I'm good. That doesn't sound good, bro. <laughs> There's a lot of people that like yeah. to be or have to be followers too. That's yeah, another thing. Right. Nobody wants to walk yeah. on their own. Like, right? Just do you, be you. I mean, yeah. I rock. I'm rocking a BlackBerry. Like, I don't. I'm, I am me. I'm nobody else. <laughs> right. You are Put. marching to a different tune. For <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I do not want to follow. I'm not a follower, and that's, that's it. That's that's part of the problem too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tech C, Vato V. You guys had tech. I've, you've told me many stories growing up where you were a hard headed kid growing up you yeah. it took your father's rearing to uh you know help you become who you are today being a responsible family man uh also Vato V you grew up in some hood shit too you yeah um I, you've shown me pictures of you man you were all like fucking hooded out man I'm like <laughs> damn he had the fucking Khaki yeah. pants up to his fucking past Khaki his pants. belly button. <laughs> <laughs> the dickies, right? The dickies. You had the, the, the tank top, the white tank top. I think you were missing the bandana, but you were all hooded out, man. I'm like, damn, this dude here is the same guy I'm talking to? You know, so who, who do you owe that to? Is it your father? Is it your mother? Or? You know what? I, I owe that to, you know, just my mom and my dad just fucking guiding me in the right direction. They always tell me, like, don't do this, don't do that. You know yeah. what I mean? Because uh, they see, I mean, obviously, as a, you don't want to, you pretty much want to say parents, you guys are full of it, but yeah. when you start seeing shit in life, yeah, and you start seeing your friends, you know, not making it, yeah. then it's like, oh shit, like exactly. I think about it's a wake shit. up call. Yeah. I actually started getting into sports, like the sports, yeah. you know, baseball. baseball and football. Started getting, you know, yeah. I started getting into that's that. That's a good way to stay away from it. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> but yeah. baseball was the one that actually got got me into, uh, you know, into a different route. You yeah. know, so 
thank God for that. And and I finished high school. I hated school. And I finished school. And yeah. I finished college. Yeah, so. you finished college. You have your uh, degree. Yeah. We uh, all have our degrees here, by the way. Yeah. But oh well, yeah. You don't have your degree, right? I have a degree. Oh, you have a degree. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't. <laughs> oh, Scully, the white guy doesn't have his degree. No. He doesn't what? need it. He doesn't need. He doesn't. What do y'all need that for? <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna make it anyway. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Get it together, you nut, you degreed Negroes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. If I can return my degree, if I can use that as a receipt, I will return it. Oh, yeah, man. student loans are like I'm still wow. paying that yeah. shit, man. Yeah, I'm a like man that. of a certain age. I'm still paying that. I shit. I went to a tech school. I wasn't going to college. I was just partied there. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> much. Yeah. It's true. So you don't need it. Tech C, uh, you 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 know when, 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 well, when we talk about our job. When I first started that job. <laughs> I found myself telling the kids a lot of things that my dad used to tell me. Wow. And and, and I was like, oh, wait, that, that's why he used to tell me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I used to say the, the reason sayings why. That, yeah, it's the sayings that he used yeah. to tell me. I, I found myself saying, repeating them. Yeah. You know, and it's just funny. It was just funny that, you know, so I know that. So I know him <clears throat> bringing me up, you know, saving yeah. me from a lot. Yeah. You, you and him had bumped heads a lot, too, growing up, right? No, <clears throat> we bumped heads, yeah, when I was a teenager, and then we bumped heads when I was an adult, and yeah. And now you now yeah. you have a son that you're you know being a good yeah. father too and, and, and you'll bump heads with him, him too. Yeah, sure, probably gonna sure. bump heads exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I try to tell my kids it's nothing new under the sun. These, these, you're doing this. You think this is it? You think this is happening? It's all been all done, done yeah. before. Yeah. It's you know all what? been done. Fuck yeah. yeah. And if everybody's happy, there's a problem. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. It's exactly. All been, it's all been done before, and I'm I did it. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. Don't let's, do it. Let's not be friends with our kids. Okay. You can be respectful to your kids and kind, but. Eventually, you have to be a parent. You yeah. have to be that that uh, that person uh, that they look yeah. up to, and that they you're, you're the person that's rearing them. They're looking at you and Put seeing how you carry down, yourself. Yeah. Exactly. If you're too nice, and then if you wait till the kid's fucking 15 years old before you try to you know whoop them, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's all bad. That like, kid gonna turn around, and slap the shit out of you. That's what I tell my. There's nothing what, you can do. That's what I tell my kids. I tell them, look, number one, I'm gonna be your dad. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna be your dad. I'm always gonna tell you the truth. I'm always gonna tell you what's up. Number two, I'll be your best friend. Yeah. yeah. So you know, exactly. uh, but I'm gonna be a parent first before I'm, uh, I'm your best friend. And a lot of these people they want to be best friends with their yeah. kids. You can't be a fucking best friends with right. your kid. Right. No. Fuck? no. See, when, I, when I was 16, mm. I thought I could kick <clears throat> my dad's ass, and I, I, <laughs> I found out the hard way. Yeah. yeah. But they grown man strength on you. My ass whooped. Yeah. 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 No, my boy, my, my boy did the same shit to me. He's like, I'm who turned 15 out. Kick your ass! I'm gonna kick your ass, Dad. I said, okay, <laughs> fuck him, come on. <laughs> <laughs> whip that motherfucker's ass. That is a little different, so I don't know, but I still whip his ass. So it's okay. That's got to be a good yeah. feeling as a father. I got my when ass your whooped. Kid it. challenges you and you whoop his ass. <laughs> yeah. It's a great feeling, right? Yeah. I'm ass whooped and then thrown into thorns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> told me that. <clears throat> you told me that. And now he's just gonna wait in the shadows until you get weak enough. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then he's yeah. gonna make his move. Right. It's like, all right, I'm gonna get you. 20 years from now, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get in your ass, man. That ass, Dad. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our, um, we talked about it, EL hit on it. <clears throat> this is called our seven deadly sins. This is our meat and potatoes of the show. Uh, a lot of what we just talked about um, uh, pertains to uh, what we're about to talk about now, the seven deadly sins, okay? So we're about to get real religious on you here, okay? If you're someone who has a certain religion and believes in a certain thing, this is a great show because everybody, and every, it doesn't matter what religion, what, what it is, there's always something called sins. Yep. <clears throat> we all know what a sin is. A sin is something sin, sin, you, you, sin. you shouldn't do. It's something, you shouldn't do. It's something, something you that do. you do on a regular basis. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> something we all do on a regular something basis. Something you shouldn't right? do, especially yeah. in the daytime. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe but, at night. Right. <laughs> when somebody's not looking. Hey, it's yeah. okay at night. You can't do this shit between 8, 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's when I'm working. That's when I do most of my shit. And no witness. Especially my former job. <laughs> right? I used to do some of the sin in at work. As we know. Like, I shouldn't be doing this. It's a sin, but it feels so good. <laughs> Y'all know what sin I'm talking about. Like, sin, bastard, sin. <laughs> uh, always sin, always sin. keeping the toilet occupied. I know what those guys are doing in there. <laughs> All right, so, so let's long. get into it. Okay, so we're going to talk about sin number one. We're going to talk about it, and then at the end, we're going to do something fun here. We're going to have, we all pretty much know each other, so we're going to have mm -hmm. someone pick a person from the table. And see and, and, and let you uh, let the audience know that they match that sin. From what we know of them, we feel that this that you match this particular sin right here. So we'll see about it once we get into it. Yeah, you can give us a call, 818-570-5085. Yeah. If you know us and we've sinned, Vato V. If you know him, <laughs> sin, sin, give sin. us a call. <laughs> let us know what kind of sins he's committed sinner. against yeah. you. <laughs> Sandals you have sinned against me. Socks you have sinned sandals. against me. Socks, socks, <laughs> sandals. sandals don't count. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. All right, sin number one, gluttony. Gluttony. Now, the definition of gluttony is excessive 
eating of food and drink. That's a lot. Somebody <laughs> just sits around, just eats and drinks, and just, I mean, full as a bull, and they still just want to eat and drink and fill their body, bodies and bellies of goat meat and shit like that or whatever, you know. <laughs> goat meat. Uh, I don't know. Just eat. Bring me sex on a leg of lamb. Chi- you know? Chinese food for, for Delano. You know, people who burp on the show because they eat so much, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so... I do love Chinese food. I will admit, sometimes I'm a glutton when it comes to Chinese food. Like this, but there are certain people on the show who are gluttons when it comes to anything. Not to be confused when it with comes to Bud Lights. Is that, he's no, a glutton. Actually, no, I was just going to take the weight off people's shoulders. Beer does not count. Beer <laughs> is a drink. It's it says here excessive drinking and eating. I beer is something you drink. Anything gluttony. you put in your body excessively that leads to death is a fact. Gluttony That's is not to be confused with. I'm not saying not to do it, but I'm just yeah. saying. Gluttony so is old drugs, is, is cigarettes. Yeah. Cigarettes, yeah. So I haven't drank <clears throat> enough to die yet, so it's not gluttony. <laughs> cheers. Hold on. If you Glutt- put, gluttony, is not, gluttony is not to be confused with gluten. <laughs> yeah. Gluten. Because that's a problem. I can eat all the gluten I want. Exactly. I can eat all the gluten I want. Um Anything you put in your body that includes penis, <laughs> it can lead to death. That's, that's bad a, penis. That's the bad so you really penis. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Literally, but I don't put penis in my body. So uh, <laughs> just for the audience to know, uh, I am an inner, not an Audi. No. <laughs> no, I'm an Audi, not an inner. Whatever. You're Y'all know a, what I mean. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. From the mouth of a metro. I, think I know what you said. said. I think what you <laughs> mean is <laughs> your. Uh, I mean. So your ass is an exit only. That's what you mean. <laughs> no, I give. I don't oh, receive. Enter. That's what I'm saying. He said to any. He's, he's an idiot. No, I said Audi. I'm an Audi. He's an Audi. He's an idiot. I'm an Audi, sir. Any first, we can rewind the tape. Let's rewind it. Okay, rewind the tape. <laughs> Mr. Texi, rewind yeah, that well, tape. I'll play for you next week. <laughs> uh, I'm an Audi. Okay, there you go. The tape has been rewound. I'm an Audi. Okay, anyway. So, our next <laughs> he sin. He knows he fucked up. Our next yeah, sin. Yeah. Greed. Greed That's is excessive. Yeah. Everybody knows what that is. That is, ex- that is yeah. actually, I got my definition. I'm sorry. <laughs> Give us the definition of greed, uh, Vatovi. You have it right there. I want to give the exact definition. Is the desire for material wealth or gain? Uh, there you go. Money. There you go. So when you're, Ready on. When you, you're, just, you're just in so much need for anything material that makes you greedy. Well, so much so where you don't care about other people's feelings. It's all about you. Sort of like a selfish type like thing. Trump, I think this is selfish. a big problem of America. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, like, Trump I, is, I just saw on money? the news like um, greed. this company that created um, Enron. No, the the drug oxycodone they, oxycodone they mm-hmm. created the drug and they just made millions and billions they're a billion dollar family and then they okay. on the side they created things to for people who were addicted to the same drug there yeah. you go. and they're like now they're being sued by numbers of people I saw wow. this on good morning america but it's just it's just plain old greed though people are just so oh corporations that's, they're the, greedy they're the epitome of greed in run i mean what's this dude bernie madoff remember him yeah, yeah. bernie yeah. madoff yeah. with all your money that's who that motherfucker is <laughs> he uh he he was an investment baker he would basically have all these people invest their money he was using their money yeah. to pay off other investors <clears throat> and then when the economy uh hit in 2008 uh oh, went to the shit he was discovered he was found yeah. out and all these people end up losing their money yeah. and, and people committing suicide and losing their life savings. I Crazy. saw this thing on American Greek. I don't know if you guys <coughs> watched that, but I it was these two ladies. They had a, a contract, a government contract, where they would send like a screws or something to the con- um, the government, mm-hmm. and they would just pay them. And then they figured out that nobody was a computer was just sending out the paychecks. So wow. then their <laughs> their paychecks got bigger and bigger and bigger, oh. and they were living like this lavish lifestyle, like <laughs> South Carolina or whatever. And then they got tripped up because they sent in the same invoice twice, and up. the computer kicked it out, oh. and then somebody looked at it. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go. but they were billing them like $100,000 an invoice. Oh. Some foolishness like that. But and one of the ladies end up killing themselves and stuff like good. that. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Sure. Greed is crazy. Yeah. Leads to death. Seven deadly sins. Greed. Also, uh, the couple, we talked about it earlier, the, um, oh, the fund go me, fund me, go fund me, me couple. Go fund me, yeah. We found the homeless man. The homeless man was in on it. Hey, you know, give us this money so we can help this man. He gave me his last dollar. And they took all this money, over three hundred thousand dollars, wow. and, uh, and and you That's know it. took it for themselves and, and spent it, and and now they're uh, I believe the last yeah, I heard they were they're I know they're getting ready to go to trial. Yeah, I believe they're I believe they're in jail right now. I will keep you posted on that. But perfect example of greed, greed yeah. taking advantage of people. Greed yep. will so fucking so. lead you to nothing, man. Yeah. yeah, that was you guys got deep with that one. Balls deep, baby. Balls, Balls deep. deep. <laughs> Balls deep. I was gonna dumb it down, and when you first said, "Hey, give me an example of greed," I was gonna say that'd be somebody who kept all the beer and didn't share it. <laughs> hey, simple as <laughs> it could be simple. It could be complicated. It could be simple. You know. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, we have some greedy people on this show who don't, don't want right. to share their beers sometimes. Sexy. <laughs> <you know, so. laughs> <laughs> uh, so yep, our right. next one here, we're gonna go into these are seven deadly sins that lead to death. Is sloth. Okay. In case you don't know what sloth is, sloth is an excessive laziness or the failure to act and utilize one's talents. Okay. Sloth. Procrastinating. Um, Procrastinator. Someone okay. who's uh, who've, who's been blessed with a certain talent and they're just so lazy. How does that lead that to they, death, though? Well, um, if you don't go, go out there and perform, you, you <coughs> kill yourself. I don't know. <laughs> no. <clears throat> um, Someone who doesn't, uh, who's lazy, you know, they don't take care of themselves. They can, you know, you don't go to the gym. You, yeah. you know, you probably do things like uh, glutton type things and you end up with bad health and you could diabetes, heart attack, die. That's, that, that's would be my example. Anybody yeah. else have anything? I agree. Sloth? Yeah. I I think, it yeah. eventually leads. These are things who, that eventually, slowly but surely, lead to death. I yeah. think life very slowly, just slowly, <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Life yeah. slowly yeah. leads to death. Yeah. <laughs> <He's not laughs> living because we all have done some of these things. I here. think a lot of these things because they're the sins, <coughs> and and yeah. sins usually go back to religion. And I think it just makes this is these are the things that if you get caught up in, you will not be a good servant. Right. Right. Mm. Very. So that's where I think it is. Very Christian like. Thing to say there. I, mean, I think we should amend. So join my beer Stop. church. It'll be every Saturday. <laughs> yeah. In the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. We'll drink beer and talk shit. His church is called the uh, Club, Sc- Club Scully. <laughs> Club Scully. You better say so something. Yeah, seriously, that's where I think it goes. But no, I was, I was going to say, I think we should, like, you know how we, like, amend, like, the Constitution? Like, I think we should take sloth mm-hmm. out of it. Because Saturday morning, watching, like, Killing a show on Netflix. I mean, yeah, just chilling. Sloth. Ah. That's being. A, we, we, we've really all we've that. all we've all done some of this a little bit, but <clears throat> it, the word is excessive. Yeah. That's the key word here. If you're excessive with it, it, that's open to opinion. Who's the yeah. is like lazy though? Who's who excessively is that lazy? <clears throat> There's a lot of people. Out there I know just some people who are just excessively lazy. <laughs> 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 like, the, the remote is right here, and you're like. Oh, I don't feel like <laughs> <laughs> speaking from experience. You're excessively yeah. lazy. I'm just going to watch this. <laughs> right, the other one is this. Hey, uh, little one, can you go give me something from the refrigerator? Yeah. <laughs> give me a beer. Right. Like, I man, I got to take a shit. Could you go do that? <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, you are excessively lazy, man. Oh, so man. there are some people like that. Um, and that that will eventually <coughs> lead to death because I mean, come on, you're not if you're that lazy, you're, you're, not, you're not you're yeah. not moving, and you know you're gonna die. You're, you're gonna die. Well on, nah, you're fucking sloth. <laughs> Goddamn well sloth. Yeah. So okay, here's a good one here. Wrath. Okay. Yes. Wrath. wrath. I love that word. Wrath. The wrath. wrath. You are a wrathed person. Okay. Wrath is a strong <laughs> anger and hate towards another person. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's beyond pissed off i am i am I'm, i have a wrath against you you know like don't ever i've had some women that have had some wraths against me you know what i mean <laughs> uh, hate fucking you uh, yeah rational. woman fed up man you don't want to you don't want to deal with that shit. rational self-control woman's wrath. Right. <laughs> yes that's all bad man we all know what that i mean the nipsey hustle that's uh, right. this uh, was something that just i guess he <clears throat> he had a strong hate uh towards this person along with the pride and things yeah. like that Sometimes these can combine and, and make something deadly, and uh, he went and killed. He suffered a, the another wrath. human being. Yeah, suffered the wrath. He suffered the wrath of that of Eric Holder killing him. He you did. know, so if shit he could, you know, and all so of these could. all of these lead to death, shitty man. Cuts. Regardless of whatever, it's gonna yeah. lead to death. Period. Yeah. You know, it's gonna lead to murder. It's murder gonna lead death. to hurting someone. All of the above. Mm-hmm. Greed, sloth. Mm. We talk about greed. Give sloth, us an example anger. of wrath That's in your good. life. I told you. my shit. You know. Pretty much where we work at, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, hey, yeah. You know, it's a lot of wrath, a lot of fighting, a lot, a lot of, of tra- people trying to hurt one another, yeah, man. On the streets, yeah. man. Fucking, you see people getting killed the, on a daily basis in the news. Mm. Yeah. It's all over. Bless yeah. you. Yeah. It's all over the place. Yeah, Damn wrath, nice. motherfucker. Sloth, <laughs> sloth. Nice. That is some slothy behavior, sir. <laughs> I said, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I, I get mad if I like. I'm trying to get onto the on ramp and like a uh, Prius is not letting me. <laughs> oh, we all hate Priuses here. <laughs> it is. I'm like, you are in a Prius. You already made your decision. You're not a speeder. <laughs> Don't speed in a Prius. <laughs> Move on, That's man. funny. Those, Those motherfuckers time. ride the fast lane a lot. Yeah. <laughs> dry seen the shit. Yeah, you yeah, made a decision crazy, in life. Yeah. <laughs> you're a Prius, please, dude. Why, you're why a Prius did, person. Stay in your Prius place. And then, yeah. and then, and then, if you like cut them off back, like. They get all mad and they want to fight. Like, but you're in a Prius, dude. You're <laughs> right. like, yeah. Yeah. I'm scared of you. You drive a Prius. <laughs> what well, if you see somebody in a Prius one day? 
Hey, motherfucker. <laughs> you can't even pick up a girl on a date in a Prius. I know, huh? A Prius says Groupon date. <laughs> <laughs> Two for one at Applebee's. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Oh, you should I'm be driving for about my finances. <laughs> That's why I'm in a Prius. You should yeah, be they, driving for Uber somewhere in a Prius. Exactly. Man, so. You go pick up a girl and be like, you're my Uber driver? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm your date. <laughs> you don't want to be a person in a Prius full of wrath. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even go together, man. No. <laughs> that's, like a piss, that's like a pissed off chihuahua. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's basically what it is. Stop. You ever hear the horn on a priest? Like, Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> oh, man. That is funny. Uh, that is funny. All right. So uh, we all know what wrath is. It's a seven deadly sin. Yeah. Another seven deadly sin here one of the seven. is uh, one of the seven is envy. Okay. Envy. Oh, yeah. envy is the intense desire to have an item that someone else possesses, or it can be a person that someone else possesses. Jealousy, mm-hmm. that type of thing. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The beer. Uh, we all know that uh, <laughs> that uh, envy leads to uh, beer. How does beer? What is beer? <laughs> envy. I'm envying your beer. that beer. <laughs> <laughs> Scully and his beers, man. I think all seven deadly sins with Scully has something with beer, man. But so. they, everybody, everybody has some kind of envy, man, because it says yeah. here, it's you know, it, it's uh, envy is what a lot of people want, or everybody wants. You know what I mean? So, everybody it's related to greed. It's the it's exactly greed. Greed. yeah. How, what, okay, that, no. that that pertains to a lot of like social media shit. Like you're online, and everybody wants to be that person. Oh yeah, hell yeah, yeah. That's why they want to look like that person. Media. It's yeah. fucking crazy, man. Yeah. All these all these women that are on there, you know, that are, are shaking our ass. Careful, ass. we have some of them on our show. Well, sometimes. I know I get it, but I'm they're the good ones though. The good ones. Yeah, they're the good ass shakers. There's some bad ones out there. Those are the only ones that make it to our show, so we're good. How you? Batsovi does a lot of. He's very selective with the ass that he selects for the show. Exactly. He's a great job. You picked up. I picked the best of the best. So we have you on here. We selected. Congratulations, your ass has been selected to be on the mentality show. Yay! <laughs> they say no fuck <laughs> come on down <laughs> <laughs> on to the next one oh no, that's man what everybody has envy. Envy. but, but yes. if people are watching these these social media uh influencers and they envy them and they want to be them they want to like live like them because these people these girls are traveling they're doing all this other shit people paying for it because yep. they're yeah. shaking ass yeah yeah and and people want to do it and hey that, man they say that's a cause of a lot of like uh depression and yeah and uh, greed, get that and, like that. and those see, people are like, those, they're that. committing greed. <laughs> but see, that's yeah. when my that's when my sloth kicks in. I'm like, that's too much posting. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I trip out on I trip out on some of these females that are, you know, yeah, they're good looking chicks, but then they have like this private account or whatever, and they charge you like thirty five dollars, um, well, fifty dollars. I'm serious. Go to my website. Fifty dollars a month. Yeah, like what the fuck? It's like you greedy ass. It's like fifty dollars. A month, and you see like crazy. Who's calling you? Like what the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, who's who's calling you over there? Who's calling you? Uh, wow. Wow. Who's calling? Yeah, who's calling you? <laughs> Somebody I pissed off. It's good. <laughs> Lust. <laughs> <laughs> and that moves us to our next one here. Um, lust. Oh no no no! Lust, lust is last. last. Trust me, I have I'm a lot sorry. to say about <laughs> lust. Uh, pride. pride, pride. Seven deadly sin. Pride is an excessive view of oneself. You should know a lot about without that. regards yeah. for others. Hey, <laughs> I know just as much about pride as you know about. Sloth <laughs> <laughs> and gluttonous. Uh, you know, um, you know. Sometimes I I am uh, guilty of being prideful. Um, but a lot of this on the show, I, I just do it for entertainment. I'm not really that cocky or arrogant. Sure, uh, I am somewhat cocky. <laughs> 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 um, he's very cocky. <laughs> I am very cocky in his mouth. That's why he called me Big D. He <laughs> Big D. Like that cockiness in his mouth. <laughs> There you go with that gay stuff. So <laughs> anyway, uh, so pride, pride, very prideful. I think yeah. you're a little prideful too, Vato. I have sometime. pride, man. We all gotta have especially some this guy. Pride. I think all men are prideful. Yeah, you say one all thing bad about this. All guy. men are prideful, but when you get older, you kind of like kind of try to put it in perspective. Yeah. But then sometimes yeah. very things true. happen, and you be like. Ah, you're gonna see angry <laughs> black man. <laughs> like, yes, you did this. Try not to be that dude. I'm not trying to be that dude, but you brought it out. You like, brought out the incredible Negro, right? Because <laughs> because uh, too much pride could get you punched in the face, and the older you get, that doesn't sound as fun. Right? Yeah, yeah. right. Because uh, you can't punch him back. You got. Yeah. You like, got it might hurt. hurt. Yeah. Our age, somebody too punch much dental work. Yeah. <laughs> Our age, somebody punch in the face, you die. <laughs> you're about to dome like that, you might. <laughs> <laughs> I punch you in your belly. All all the shit you ate Ooh. last week is gonna come out. Anyway, the gluten. So, <laughs> the gluten. The beard. Uh, 
uh, beer and wings and gluten. Rat. <laughs> Not gluten. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and move into our next one here. This is my favorite, my personal favorite. There's only one. And it doesn't <laughs> have. I, it was probably number one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he saved it for last. It was number yep. one on the list. It was number one on the list. Okay, lust. <laughs> lust <laughs> is a strong passion or longing, especially for sexual desires. Now, notice it says especially, meaning lust doesn't have to just do with sex, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can have a strong passion and desire for, to, to have anything, which is sort of related to some of the other sins, greed, envy, that type of thing. But when I think of lust, I'm, we're talking about fucking, okay? <laughs> Somebody who's a womanizer Number one. who wants to have sex with any, every woman he sees thinks he's God's gift to, to women. That's pride, of course. Big L. And, Big um, fruitful and multiply? And, <laughs> God made the urge to reproduce in men so, so strong sometimes, you know. That how could you not have lust? But you know, I, I understand even if you have lustful thoughts, that's a sin. Yeah, now, if, that's heard, a, yeah. if that's the case, and I'm the, I'm the <laughs> fucking but we I'm all, Satan. We all know that one guy who's like <laughs> a complete like horn dog. Like you mm -hmm. go out to the oh. club, he's like, I'm, I'm going to get a girl's number, mm. right? And that don't happen. Like they're like, let's go to the strip club. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then, if that don't work that out, like after you leave the strip thirsty. club, it's like three o'clock in the morning. Like you guys want to get a prostitute? Like, oh, <laughs> oh man, I like, do. Calm down. That's beyond <laughs> thirsty, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's dehydrated. Hey, <laughs> but wait a minute, you guys, you, like, you share prostitutes? Guys do that? I, I, I don't know. I never had a prostitute. Confirm nor deny. <laughs> hey, hey, want to go halves? <laughs> <laughs> Who goes first? <laughs> yeah. Take the top and take the bottom. Hey, <laughs> we well, get pay ballot. <laughs> don't make. <laughs> Vimo. Take Venmo. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to flip a coin. Who goes first? You get a chastity belt because we're going to do an intervention. <laughs> 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 all right. So we got a few more minutes. Let's get to the fun part here. So we all swear to know each other at the table. <coughs> EL, you're the new guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we've been knowing each other for years here, us three. Scully, I've been knowing you for about a year. Uh, so what we're going to do, EL, this is going to be tough for you, but you're going to have to give us an answer. We're going to see. We're going to name a person at this table that matches one of these seven deadly sins the most, Jeez. okay? Besides sin, yourself. Sin. <laughs> okay. Besides yourself, you have to name a person at this table and what they match, uh, what's the sin that they match, okay? So <laughs> we're going to have you go now. There's not going to be any hard feelings, okay? Nobody can get pissed or wrathy here or anything <laughs> like that. Anger. <laughs> Anger, you know what I mean? Lustful. Like, what's your problem? I'm so I wrathy. Promise. <laughs> I promise. That's like something to get a woman. I'm so wrathy. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, so, so no hard feelings, okay? So Let's take it with a grain of salt. What if you match, you match multiples? <laughs> <laughs> Which you can only pick hey, one. I say we want up There's like three I got on you, too. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. Only let, pick one. Let's pick one for each person, and everyone real quick at the end gets to pick which one they think they, 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 they are. are. Say that again? We do what? Like, we'll pick someone. I'll say... Uh, you are this, and then you're Texas right. wrath. Uh -huh. And then does he agree, or does he pick another one? Does he agree uh -huh. or disagree? <laughs> okay, I, we should, okay. I wish we could write it down I like agree. secret shopper type thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Secret uh, okay, all right. So, um, so what do you, well, EL, you're going to go first. Who would uh, you say matches, we're gonna, we'll do this. Who would you say matches gluttony at this table? <laughs> 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 Who at this table matches gluttony? Remember, oh. gluttony is excessive eating <laughs> and, and drinking. It. Well, I don't want to say excessive. But, I mean, uh -huh. I mean, he always has beer. <laughs> <laughs> no hard feelings. Take it with a grain of hey, salt. Hey, Don't get mad. Hey, you drink my beer too, so. <laughs> that is you only wild. get. By it's the way, good, by the way, you only get one comeback when somebody said, like, if I say, right. you can only say one thing. You can't keep going on and on and have a whole argument here. So, okay, dumb. so you said your one thing. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna. Okay, so uh, who matches? Who at this table? Uh, I'll ask you. Um, uh, Scully, who at this table matches greed? Who at this table mostly matches greed? Fuck, dude. <laughs> That's tough, man. You know what? I don't think anyone does, but yeah. I, if you had to choose one person, I'm, I'm going with you, up. but <laughs> fuck, dude. He's greedy with the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> he wants it all. <laughs> yeah, I get my one comeback. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I can't argue with that. I cannot argue with that. Okay. Take C. Sloth. Oh, damn it. That's the one you. That's you. Okay. Who at this table matches sloth the most? Remember, that's excessive laziness. Okay. Yeah. That's you. <clears throat> yeah. That could easily be me. <laughs> and that'd be me too. You just want to say me for everything, right? <laughs> I do. <laughs> <That'd be me. laughs> oh, okay. okay so we'll say EL then. EL. Okay. Say Elbert. 
Elbert. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. I Elbert. Have, so I have been lazy. You've been lazy. You've well, been sloppy. I shouldn't have to. Yeah, I am uh, sloppy. It, it takes a big man up. to admit his sin. Way to step up. You want, you want another beer, sloppy? Nah, yes. <laughs> takes a true man. My, my gluttony. <laughs> <laughs> takes a true man to to uh, you know, admit his sin. If you're gonna sins. be lazy, you might as well have a beer. If we're gonna call each other names. You might as well drink beers together, right? Yeah. Okay. Vato V. We only got a few more minutes here. Wrath. Who matches wrath at this table? Who gets anger and who gets pissed off all the time and sensitive? Scully? I would say Scully. Oh, yeah, he does. He says Scully he, man. Yeah, yeah. See, he has he has this anger about him. He has anger. When yeah, that's right. true. I, I get one comeback. Freeway, right? You get one comeback, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my turn. Envy. Envy. Remember, yeah. jealous. That's somebody who's jealous all the time and envious. Ooh, that's tough. I, I, I would say nobody at this table is envious or jealous. Nobody has no. that thing about him. But if I had to say envy, I would say me. I would say me. Oh, no, I can't. We can't say ourselves. Okay. <coughs> so uh, we'll, pick, we'll pick you. Yeah, we'll pick yeah. you. Well, it's my turn. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, it. fuck, man. You're, I told you, you're not envious guy. About Skelly, Sammy? you're not I don't envious think guy. Anyone. I'll say Sammy. It has to be somebody yeah. at this table. Uh, <laughs> Sammy, get you're in here. You're not envious guy. You're not jealous. Jeez. Oh, yeah, fuck. Nobody. You know what? <laughs> that, that, I'm sorry. That, there's nobody here. I this think table. we all should imagine. take the hit for that. Fuck we'll all take the hit for that. We'll yeah, all yeah. take the hit for that. Okay. Pride. Who, who matches pride, EL? Who's pride. the most prideful person at this table? Mm -hmm. Don't be, don't be uh, <laughs> co-signing and shit. I think we all are, man. I think yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a hard one. Yeah, you one did say we all are. Like, I we can say all of us. Yeah. Yeah, I have pride. Too. Like, I have pride. Shit. We all do. It's nothing wrong with it to an extent, though. Pride. I'm not allowed to have that pride shit. Can, pride like can get you a long way in the world. Just <laughs> not excessive pride. I mean, you can't let people, <laughs> not take, excessive a, you pride. Can't let people take advantage of you. Nope. So. <laughs> yeah, All right, Skelly. I'm sorry. We got a few more seconds. I got uh, an answer. What you got? Lust. Who's the most lustful person at this table? Uh, nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Just, you got to choose I got one. You, I got all your backs. <laughs> you got to choose one. You got to choose one. Somebody uh, who's the most lustful. Quit co-signing. Somebody who's the most lustful at this table. <laughs> Horniest. <laughs> lustful. <laughs> fuck lustful. it, dude. In all honesty, I'm uh, you again. <laughs> Yo, fuck you gotta stop asking me questions. <laughs> get one comeback, okay? It's true. <laughs> fuck, that's true. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so we gotta go ahead and end it. It's been fun. We love you guys. But before we yep. leave, we do this thing called Mexican Word of the Week. Vato V, what is our Mexican Word of the Week? Animosity. Animosity. How is animosity <laughs> our Mexican Word of the Week? I told my homie Jose, maybe in your city you can act stupid. And in my city, <laughs> you got a grinder, you get shot. <laughs> Animosity, Mexican word of the week. Uh, All right, that's our show. www.mentalityshow.com. <laughs> Past episodes on YouTube. Uh, LA Talk Radio, Facebook Live catches on iTunes, Google Play. And soon as Texie gets his shit together, iHeartRadio. Catch us next week, folks. Love you. Right. Woo, peace. Oh, remember. Oh, remember, you're good. Oh. But with our help, you, you could, could be, be the, the best. best. Peace out. Vamanos. This show is live, folks. We fuck up. Vamanos. He fucks yeah. up. <laughs> you're listening to The Mentality Show, only on LA Talk Radio.